and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent ancestor tarot messages in this video, my beautiful Leo. But I also do your uh, weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Leo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. And also, my beautiful Leo, I did your urgent spirit guide messages, so be sure to check that out as well um, if you resonate with this one especially. But I also want to say, Leo, be sure to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man using some tarot cards to give you a tarot reading, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, if you do resonate with some messages in this tarot reading, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below how they do, which cards do, uh, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, right? Also, I'd really appreciate it, uh, Leo, I almost called you Le uh, Aries, I just did them actually, that would be why. Uh, Leo, I'd really appreciate it if you took the extra time to support my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe, because it does really help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you take that extra time to support me in that way. So, yeah. And then finally, Leo, before I get into these messages, I just want to say that I don't feel like any type of tarot reading uh, sh or tarot cards should be making choices in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that gives you a reading. So, I want you to i feel like tarot cards tarot reading should be here to give you some food for thought something to consider as you go throughout your week as you go throughout your days right so please keep that in mind so let's get enough of all of that let's get into this reading and the centerfold of this energy here is the four swords leo so leo your ancestors right off the bat are trying to get you into a space of healing i feel like this is almost like a sense leo of uh your ancestors trying to ask you to take a pause leo in the sense of where you need to think things through a little bit more not to say that you're making a wrong choice in anything right i'm not trying to make it sound like it's i'm gaslighting you in any sense right um because i do feel like you're in the right path on the right path with the star card but with this four swords this four swords usually is the representation of some type of, like thinking things through meditating a lot to uh it's almost like, Leo, I'm getting this sense of where there's some type of situation that you need to just, like, break apart, right? It's like giving an engineer, I don't know what engineers, whatever, like, giving an en engineer, like, or um, engineer something to just, like, dissect and figure out how it works, right? I feel like that's there's something in your life. Uh, currently, Leo, that you need to like look into the details a little bit more, dissect and pull apart and figure out how it works. Because even if you continue on the same path and making the same choices that you were going to anyways, I can't help but feel like there's something that would really assist you in your journey if you were to deep dive just a little bit more. It's very, I'm getting a sense of like a moon energy here, where it's like there's something more going on that meets the eye that you're not quite aware of. And if you were aware of it, it might change how you would handle things slightly. So let's get into these animal spirit cards. We have the chameleon spirit. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. The chameleon spirit coming in number 14, number 5 for numerology, my beautiful Leo. So write that down to look up later. And the chameleon spirit says, act as if. Interesting card. So let's use read off this weasel card as well before we break this down. The weasel card says, be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Very much kind of repeating the same message of the seven of swords or four of swords, right? So with this dynamic, um, hmm. you know, Leo, this is almost the sense of where, hmm. I feel like there's this sense, Leo, where it's like you're trying to, you're going forward into your path, right? You're actively trying to create, you're actively moving forward. I do feel that for you, Leo. But your ancestors are really trying to have you, um, it's almost like you don't, like you're going down your path, right? You're trying to reach for your star, right? Right, Which is, the star is like a wish fulfilling card. Um, but it's almost like you don't quite believe that you would actually be able to attain that star, uh, Leo. It's almost like 
yeah, your actions show as if you're working towards it, but in your thoughts, you're just like, oh, it's not possible. Or it's like, um, you can't even imagine yourself if it were to work out. And I feel like that's something that you need to little deep dive a little bit in with yourself. Because, you know, um, this is where I get into my, like, fluffy um, <laughs> spiritual talk, <laughs> my beautiful Leo. But I believe everything is energy, including your thoughts. And with when you're actively trying to, when you're mani we're always manifesting, right? We're always thinking things, we're always doing things that are putting out, out energy into the universe to create something for us. And so uh, like we ideally would like to manifest beautiful things, positive things, abundance in our life, um, obviously, right? But manifestation doesn't, manifestation only cares about energy in general, right? It doesn't care about being like, oh, this is more low vibrational than this other thing. So let me go to the higher vibrational thing. It doesn't work like that, honey. Uh, with manifestation, it's just about whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get back. And so with your thoughts, catch yourself in your thoughts. If you feel like the star card just is unatt unattainable, I mean... I mean, let's just be logical about it. If even though your actions show that you kind of believe in it, if you truly like full on believed it, you would be able to be all out with this, right? Because it's like, think about it in terms of like gambling, I guess, honey, we're taking a turn, <laughs> Leo, where it's just like, if you feel, if you have like a, what's the word for it? If you're playing blackjack or something, this shows my uneducatedness when it comes to the gambling. But if you have like a really good hand, right? I think they call it like a flush. If you have like a flush, honey, and you know the other, like the other people that you're gambling with have like a lower hand or you're playing poker, whatever that you get them message right if you know you have a really strong hand you're going to act accordingly right you're going to uh go all in i mean that's i guess that's what i would do right so if you don't truly believe in that you have a good hand you're not going to be fully invested into obtaining that star so of course you're never going to quite reach it because you're not going to um there's just like that level of um that mental blockage which a lot of people don't really even consider how much that actually impedes you not only through like the energetical spiritual side of things right but even just like your physical actions like even if you like i feel like it's not even like a debate on <laughs> like how someone will handle something if they feel confidently truly feel confidently in the situation so leo let's just keep that in mind when it comes to this right your ancestors are really trying to call you out with this Hierophant card as well, the Hierophant comes in of where Spirit's really asking for you to tap into your higher self, right? All these cards right here is like, I mean, aside from the star card, um, but these three or four cards are all about like self-reflection and really looking at things, getting more details on things, right? It's one of those things, Leo, if you are feeling anxious about something or you're feeling scared or nervous about something, Essentially, when you break it down, it's just about uh, not having enough information. Because if you're feeling anxious about something or not sure about it, it just means you don't have enough information. So get that information, right? If you feel like you can't get that star, obtain that star. Let's actually look at where it is that, like, why don't you feel like you would obtain that star? And let's, once you identify those whys, then let's see how we can rectify that, right? Your ancestors are really trying to be hands-on with you and trying to address your mindset because it really is such an important aspect when it comes to trying to create anything or when it comes to trying to just bring blessings forward into your life. We have the King of Air coming in for you. This is a card saying, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, and balance mental and emotional considerations. So tr again, this is a card of the mind, keeping your mental and emotional considerations in check, keeping your mental in check. Uh, Leo, this is, I can't help but feel like, yeah, I just need to like snap my fingers and just be like, honey, get out of your head. Um, you really are in your head about this with this Queen of Pentacles. It does, I can't help but feel like, Leo, some of you guys are like internalizing something and like this through this internalization, that's what's putting that blockage with this star that's stopping you from obtaining, truly obtaining that star, truly having that wish fulfilling moment, Leo. So very interesting dynamic for this first spread so i'm going to be pulling some cards now let's you know we talk about this leo let's actually talk about some like let's talk about some good things right let's talk about the blessings coming towards you right but before we get into those blessings let's see how we can better set up for those blessings right so we have the high priestess card coming in this is a card of using your intuition so this is really all the all, all of your cards leo are about getting in better getting in better touch with your mind 
right? And with your mental. And I always associate the high priestess being able to have a better connection with the otherworldly, while the hierophant has a better connection with the higher self. So it's really interesting that both of these cards come up for you because it's like in all, um, Leo, some of you guys just might feel disconnected um, from the world or from just spirit in general, maybe even from your ancestors. Um, I can't help but feel like, yeah, I, the, it shows to me with that intuition card, that high priestess card, I don't know why I put it up quite yet. With this High Priestess card, Leo, it shows me that you have what it takes, right? So again, I really don't want it to come off as like I'm trying to gaslight you and that like you're not doing enough or that you're on the wrong path. I truly do. Like you're not getting any cards that are just telling you to stop and try to redirect you like some of the other signs have gotten. Uh, trust and believe, honey. I have no problems like letting people know. But I do feel like there's just like we need to get a better grasp at the at your um, mentality when it comes to things or just even like, um, yeah, just like your mentality. I feel like it's just the overall focus. So that's like just overall how we can uh, further elevate yourself towards getting towards those blessings. So let's talk about the blessings now, Leo. What, and what are your ancestors trying to bring forward to you? What can you anticipate uh, coming to you? My beautiful Leo. Let's see. Mm, I feel like doing it on the shuffle. One a moment, Leo. All right. All right. Queen of Pentacles is following you, Leo. Very interesting. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the World card. All right. Or not the World card. This is the wheel. It's hard for me to read when it's upside down, but I want you guys to be able to see it right side up. So, um, yeah. So let's break this down. I'm going to be pulling clarifiers. So you're going to be noticing me like shuffling and pulling cards as I go, but don't mind me. Uh, with this Queen of Pentacles coming in here, I mean, again, this is just all about the Queen of Pentacles is that self-sustaining energy. Maybe there's this insecurity in that you are able to sustain yourself, right? Maybe for some of you Leos, you don't want to go out on your own or release do work on some type of project with this eight of pentacles i can't help but feel like for my self-employed leos or oh, my leos that are trying to be self-employed um i can't help but feel like you're being pushed into this direction of putting more energy putting more effort into trying to become self-employed with this wheel card coming in because i feel like that's how the wheels start turning in your favor i know people associate the wheel of fortune just instantly as like a blessing coming to hand but i don't like to see it that way because it just you know like it's never like nothing is ever promised to you and just as just how that wheel can easily turn in your favor it can reverse right so truly queen of pentacles eight of pentacles Put more energy into something, some type of side project, side hustle that you've been thinking about doing or already doing. Put more energy into it, Leo, because I feel like that's how the wheels start really turning in your favor, right? But nothing is promised, right, until you start taking that action. So we have the Emperor, the Four of Cups, as well as the Strength card coming in here. Truly, it's like the blessings coming towards you, Leo, that your ancestors are trying to bring towards you is like this sense of... um Regardless of what comes to or whatever comes to you, uh, Leo, it's almost like, and this is your card, by the way, the strength card. It's almost like once this actually happens, because it's, I feel like this came to you at one point where you tried to uh, have this work out before, right? We'll just go along with the narrative of like you try to have some self employment before and it just didn't quite pan out, perhaps. Maybe the wheel of fortune just didn't turn in your favor at that time. But I feel like that's more so just because of this card right here, the strength card. I feel like this is more so like a challenge to see if you would be willing to push yourself or maybe even like if it didn't work out the first time because the wheel wanted more from you. The Your ancestors wanted you to put more energy into it and the only way to um, challenge you to do more or challenge you to be even better than what you currently are, Leo, is by, you know, forcing you to have to work a little bit harder, right? If everything was just handed to us on a silver platter, it wouldn't be, like life wouldn't be nearly as interesting. Now, I'm not trying to say, Leo, that you're wanting things to be given to you on a silver platter, but your ancestors are really trying to have you tap into your emperor energy where you're take, being more proactive, taking more of a leadership role. And it's almost like your confidence is built up through putting more energy into this project because i really do feel like it pans out beautifully once you do start putting more energy into it this is about as much as promising as you're going to get leo in that 
of a message where it's just like if you do something it's going to work out so beautifully for you like you kind of um but it does require you to challenge yourself a little bit it does require you to um I can't help but just feel like you have to be like a little bit more bossed up in a way you know where you have to be a little bit more uh I don't want to use the word, but I can't think of a better word right now. Just be a little bit more alpha with your energy. Be more secure in yourself and your thoughts and just handle yourself accordingly, right? Almost like now that I'm thinking about it, the chameleon spirit act as if, right? I don't, now that I'm realizing, I don't think I ever addressed really this chameleon spirit from before. It's, it's almost like your ancestors, Leo, are asking you to act as if you already are the emperor. Act as if that you are the bossed up individual that you are trying to be and that you probably already are deep down that you haven't just tapped into quite yet right so that's really just like the overall theme for you leo where it's just like act as if you're successful act as if you are able to get to that final destination that you want to be at right um very interesting how this is all panning out leo this doesn't even seem to be a situation where like blessings are given to you or just so happen in your life leo and it's more just about you getting the rewards for the work that you put in, right? Um, and if you have been already putting in work, Page of Cups comes in <laughs> as the new blessing, um, as like a blessing coming in for you. Interesting though, we have this with the Four of Cups. So it's like, I feel like truly feel strongly in that like this time around, if you were to do that same project again, now that you learned a little bit with this Eight of Pentacles, Leo, I do feel like now that you... Uh, tap into your power a little bit more that is when spirit becomes more enmeshed in the situation and helps you manifest um more opportunity more blessings into your life so very interesting very definitely uh leo and try to incorporate your ancestors into your ritual work if you do rituals or your manifestation even just connecting to them a little bit more so you can feel familiarize yourself with their energy i feel like would be helpful Queen of Swords as the final card, setting boundaries and just, you know, keeping structure, right? With this Queen of Swords, she doesn't have any insecurity. With this Queen of Swords, she's all about business, right? She's a little bit more cutting. She's like, she's the kind of individual that you want to be when you're a business person. You know, when you're in a uh, pool filled with sharks, you this is a great white honey. You are the great white shark in that sense. So it's like, obviously that sounds really aggressive, but it's more about like, just claiming your power and having the confidence and exuding that confidence of that power because it's kind of just like saying it's just like yeah i know i'm i know i'm that that one right and so you just live your life accordingly in that way ace of swords yeah you just go forward uh leo just go forward with more confidence i feel like that is the key uh, to things just working out for you. <laughs> it feels kind of silly for me to ask you to have more confidence, Leo, because I know, like, Leo, you guys are just such a powerful uh, sign, a powerful already leadership uh, zodiac sign. You guys really are a powerhouse. So this is, hopefully, this your ancestors are just trying to get you to, like, wake up to that a little bit more. Tap into, go into, into uh, that potential a little bit deeper. I feel like there's just more that you can... Um, do more that you can challenge yourself with for yourself so yeah my beautiful leos that's the cards that i have for you in this ancestor reading i hope there are some cards that resonated with you some messages in here that resonate with you be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading and then also i'd really appreciate it leo if you uh, were to take that extra step and share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages but until next time my beautiful leo i'll connect with you at some point in the future i love you so much leo bye